All right, so this is my wattage meter and you can use it for a bunch of different things. I have it plugged into my desk, but I really wanna use this for my e-bike. I wanna calculate how much power consumption I'm using when I charge it because I just wanna know how, per charge, how much is it costing me, um, that kind of thing. But right now I have it on my desk so I can see how much it's costing to run my desk. So I'll go over a few of the functions and make it super simple, but uh, it is backlit, don't worry about that. You just press a button, it turns on for a few seconds. Um, but I'm watching the kilowatt hours. So I can use this to calculate um, how much kilowatt hours cost in my area and then do the, the math. Or if I'm doing a battery, I can change, convert kilowatt hours to milliamp hours or uh, amp hours and get you know the amp hours of the battery and stuff and try to see you know how much capacity it actually used um, over what amount of time. That's not a clock up there. That's a running clock that shows how long it's been plugged in. Um, let me go over some of the functions real quick. So it shows you the voltage, so we're getting 120 volts at 60 hertz. This is the amps that it's charging, or that it's the power output with a power factor of 0.92. Then you got a low and high watt, so that's the low and that's the high watt that it's picked up. That's the highest the watts it's uh, pulling. And then here's the cost. So something about the cost. The cost is in euros per kilowatt hour. You can't change that, and that calculates in here with the wattage. So if you go to cost, and you want to change it, you can change the number, but not euros to dollars. So um, I didn't see that anywhere in the manual. Couldn't find that anywhere. So you hold down the cost button. It's going to start blinking. Oop. One, two, three. There we go. And then hit the function. It'll go over. And you can select, is it is it $13? Is it $3? Hit function again. Maybe it's $2 per kilowatt hour. Um, Two dollars and eight cents. So you just press function to slide it over, change your numbers, press cost, cost again, it locks in. So when you hit function, it'll tell you the cost. Um, so there's a lot of calculations I can get out of this. I'm mainly gonna be using it for batteries and to see how much my power station, my workstation is taken up. So when I convert my shop to solar, I can uh, use these numbers. This would be a big help because this is the main thing that I'm running. Um, but this is a great little meter here. It was the Amazon's choice meter and um, it didn't disappoint. It's a great little meter here, and I look forward to using it for all my calculations and help me get a better understanding of what's going on with my, my power.